Hello and welcome to All About the U in seven minutes or less. My name is Matteo Remsberg and I'm the Director of Recruitment at the University of Utah Office of Admissions. Now let's be honest, seven minutes, not a lot of time to really do a deep dive and give you the information that you're probably looking for to determine if the U is going to be a good fit for you. So today what I'm going to do is highlight some key things that I really want you to be aware of. But then I'm going to talk about some different ways that you're going to be able to engage and connect with us and really get that information that you're looking for and get the answers to your questions. I will be doing a series of events throughout fall semester. So let's get started. You're probably aware that the University of Utah is a large four year public research institution. Uh, and with that, we have so many different opportunities that await our students at the U. With 150 different degree programs, chances are if you have something you know you want to study, we can probably meet that need. And if you're on the other end of the spectrum and you have no idea what you want to study, again, a wide variety of things to choose from. But we also want to take what you're learning in the classroom and give you opportunities to apply it in the real world. So maybe that's doing research alongside one of our world renowned faculty members. Maybe it's creating a prototype of some new product that you've been dreaming about for the last two years. Or maybe it's doing a learning abroad. So there are a lot of different opportunities that we have for you to engage in your academic coursework. But going to college is more than just going to class. We want you to engage in our campus community and become an active member. With over 600 different student organizations, chances are we have opportunities for things that you've already been doing, as well as things that you've always wanted to try. So we encourage you to check us out, especially think about living on campus. That's a way to fully immerse yourself in the Utah experience. Now, with all the great things that we do have to offer, we also get some amazing outcomes. We have the highest graduation rate of all the four year public institutions here in the state. We also graduate students with the lowest amount of debt um, when compared to those institutions as well. Now, how do you get in? Well, you're going to need to apply for admission. We use the Common App. Um, you'll want to plan on about probably 35 to 45 minutes to fill that out. You're going to need to send us official transcripts. Um, and we are test optional, which means that you do not need to send us an ACT or an SAT exam to um, apply for admission. Now we do require those tests for merit-based scholarship consideration, as well as direct admission into the College of Engineering. However, rest assured, we are monitoring the situation with testing here in the state, and those policies could change based off of test availability. So those are things that we are paying attention to. Now in terms of admissions, we want to know who you are as a full student. So we're looking at what are you doing academically, but also what are you doing outside of the classroom? What about familial commitments, those types of things. We want to know who you are as a complete person. Now cost is always a big factor in terms of where you choose to go to college. So please don't get scared off by this slide. Um, but we want you to be aware of generally what the costs are for tuition and fees and room and board. But we have a number of ways that we help students pay for for their Utah education through merit-based scholarships, departmental scholarships, and need-based scholarships like our new for Utah scholarship that pays all tuition and fees if you're Pell Grant eligible and have a 3.2 GPA or higher. We also work with all the federal aid programs such as grants and loans. So there are ways to help fund a Utah education. Now, the most important thing is to make sure that you are paying attention to our deadlines. February 1 is the one that I would tell you to really keep track of. That is our early action to admissions date. And it's also our FAFSA priority date, meaning that if you get your application in for admission and your FAFSA in by February 1, you'll get full consideration for all merit as well as all uh, need-based scholarships. Now, if you want to hear about your admission earlier than February or March, um, then you'll want to apply by December 1st, which is our early action one date. Now, in terms of ways that you can join us, we have our daily future you sessions. So these are a little bit deeper dive about the things that I've talked about already today, um, but we'll go into a little more detail. And those happen every day of the week. Um, again, all of our events are going to be virtual this fall. Our bringing you to you events, this is really where you get to hear from students and their experiences. Um, they will be talking about uh, a lot of the different things that they're engaged in on our campus. 
And so we, those will be starting in mid-September. And then we have our Connecting You Days, which will be happening at the end of October. And again, this is a little bit deeper dive. You'll hear from financial aid and scholarships and housing and the academic colleges. There will also be another student panel, um, you know, talking about, again, different aspects of campus. We're also going to be offering application and financial aid and scholarship workshops this fall. Um, to help you really fill out the application, answer those questions, make sure that you fully understand how you can finance a Utah education. Now the spotlights are new events this year and we're again super excited about these. Every Friday um, afternoon we are going to do a student spotlight. So four students that will be coming together and they're different students each week. They'll be coming together to talk about specific areas of campus or specific experiences. So for example, how did I choose my major or where's my favorite places to eat or you know who's what are my favorite classes those types of things. We will be doing individual college spotlights where the colleges on an individual basis will be able to share information to you about what you can experience and the opportunities that await you in each of the colleges. And then we'll have our campus community spotlights and these are opportunities for you to learn about uh, different resources to support your success uh, here at the University of Utah. Now you can learn more about all of these events and register for them at our website at the link here that you see. Now I will tell you, you want to visit that page often because we are going to be updating that information on a very regular basis. Finally, I want to let you know that you don't have to go at this on your own. Each of you have an assigned admissions counselor uh, that is here to be your point person and help you get through the process. To find your admissions counselor, go to the website, uh, seek out the meet your admissions counselor page and type in your school and it'll tell you who your counselor is. And again, they're your point people. So I've gone through a whole lot of information in a very short period of time. Again, I hope that you will um, join us at some of our other events this fall and I wish you all the best in, in the upcoming uh, semester. Take care.